what to do before hiring a virtual assistant, before even going to get a discovery call, before you do any of that so that you can effectively and efficiently use a virtual assistant to grow your business. My name is Alexandria and I am a virtual assistant for black women in business and entrepreneurs. And on this channel, I discuss my business, give biz growth tips, and sharing my journey as an entrepreneur and a little bit of my personal life. Let's get into it. Oh, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. What to know before hiring a virtual assist? The first thing that you are going to want to do is figure out what you want to outsource. Do not go to a virtual assistant clueless. Figure out what you want to outsource. And how you are going to do this is by writing down what you are currently doing in your business. Figure out what can only you do in your business. What is the only thing that you know that you can do in your business, which will usually be um, a passion of yours and why you started your business in the first place figure out what task can what task can you easily teach somebody else to do and then you want to consider the value of each task that you would outsource and pick at least three and what do you consider the value this will help you determine what is your price of investment for your virtual assistant and what you are comfortable investing into a virtual assistant next you need to create a sop a sop is a standard operating procedure aka what is your process of doing things and this is a very important because you want to make sure that when you're giving a task that your virtual assistant knows how to complete this some people um, write it down some people have a video so that they can give it to the virtual assistant that they choose so they can complete those tasks but make sure that you not you are not saying hey i want you to do this task and expecting your virtual assistant to be a mind reader which is not going to happen and that is sometimes how a lot of um, miscommunication happens or you may think that the virtual assistant isn't good, but you want to set a good foundation. For example, if a person, you say you send this email and if they don't respond back, you follow up within two days. And then if they don't um, respond back up to the follow up, I want you to respond back, send another email in a month. So that's what I mean by setting up a, a standard operating procedure. Knowing your standard operating procedure, like track your day to day of how you're doing things. And if you want to time how long it's taking you to do a task, um, they have an app called Top, Top Tracker, which is free and Loom. I'm not too familiar of it, but I know of it, but I love Top, Top Tracker because it's free. And it does track you while you're working. So if you know the task that you don't want to do, just time yourself of how long it takes you. And then you can see, um, you can know how long it should take a virtual assistant. Know that when you hire a virtual assistant, that now you are starting to build your team. Yay! <laughs> you have a support system now, a paid support system. Um, know your expectations and virtual assistant's expectations. So know your needs and theirs. So if say you want a virtual assistant that's available on the weekends, make sure you're asking your virtual assistant, do you work weekends? And if you don't, are you able to? Is there extra fee if I would like for you to work weekends or after hours? So know your needs and their availability and what they are able to do for you. And be prepared to be a leader and not a micro manager. Um, I use Trello for my virtual assistant business so that my clients can see what we discussed on the task that we're going to be working on, that I'm going to be working on for them. But I like to say honestly together because it is a team effort. Um, I love, I've been using Trello. I won't say I love it just yet, still figuring it out, but Trello is good for putting all the tasks that you discussed and you can watch and see what your virtual assistant is doing without <laughs> macro micromanaging and you can set dates for when tasks are supposed to be completed it, it will tell you all of that in trello but that's a whole nother discussion but be prepared to be a leader and be a part of a team and not a micromanager um, remembering that you hired the virtual assistant to do this for you maybe in the beginning you're going to get a lot of questions from your virtual assistant just to confirm a few things um, don't get irritated by that. They're just making sure that they're doing it right. I would say probably within the a month or two, you and your virtual assistant gonna be smooth sailing. <laughs> when you're looking for hiring your virtual and 
or personal assistant to go ask other businesses that you know like what who's the virtual assistant that you hired i know it can be tough to trust somebody with your baby your business your you're just starting out you ain't got you probably don't have money to waste but start off with getting referrals or networking with people, asking other professionals, do they have any referrals for a virtual assistant? Can they vouch for anybody? Do you recommend anybody? Do your research, research and research some more. Like if you wanted to book me as your virtual assistant, Google their name, see what they got. What kind of content do they got? What are the reviews? do your research because once again you're going to have to build trust with this person and in order to build trust do your research make sure you're picking the right one um i say pray about it pray over everything that you do and third start off with little small tasks that you don't mind a virtual assistant doing just to see how they're working and see can you rely on them and slowly build your trust with them when you're searching for a virtual assistant make it known that you are looking for one virtual assistants um virtual most virtual most virtual assistants do look for people that um most virtual assistants do look for posts that are mentioning, hey, I'm looking for a virtual assistant, blah, blah, blah. You can send a requirement or like, hey, just comment your stuff down here. I would say email, but if you're a business and you're looking for a virtual assistant, you probably don't want to go through email. So um, being able to say comment below so I can check you out, I would think will work the best. That is what I suggest that you do before hiring a virtual assistant. Take your time with picking the right one. And if you're interested in hiring me as your virtual assistant, as a black woman in business, just click the link below and, you know, binge all of my content. Like I said, vet these people, vet me too. And let me know down below what else would you look for in a virtual assistant or before hiring a virtual assistant. Thank you for watching. My name is Alexandria. And once again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. This helps other people see this content of who is supposed to help and who it is supposed to reach. All right, bye. Tip top. Say something when you tip top. Yeah.